A lot to cover when we have to talk about weather, not only talking about our weather, but yeah. then also and, uh, burn bans too. I should add, I don't know if you've heard, but Grady County, they just added the burn to the burn ban today. Okay, we'll have to add that to the map. Yeah, another so, county. And there'll be a lot more. I think it's just, uh, I really think we need to add more at this point. Because we've just, been so dry. Yeah, it's just trickling in, and like tomorrow's going to be breezy. The fire danger tomorrow will be higher than today. So yeah. any day that we have a little wind, it ramps back up. So okay. we just, we'll just leave it at high, you know? Yeah. Uh, either way, let's go back down to Florida here. There is all kinds of crazy video here, and there you go. There's a problem. Storm surge coming into the house, and uh, obviously uh, evacuation was either not an option or chose not to, but uh, not good. Now, I don't know what's going on here. We've seen some crazy video with people down here in Florida just out and about. Hurricanes coming on shore. People are out, you know, taking a swim. Now, that, that's not a person, right? Uh, I don't know. Either a shark or a dolphin. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. Anyway, it's not good. And uh, this guy's in his garage. And the garage looks a little bit different here today. So it's a mess. Florida is a mess right now, and it is far from over. Let's go to Lynx 1, and uh, you can see the bullseye now. Uh, Fort Myers is in this area right here. Tampa's up in here. 420,000 customers without power. Obviously, the bullseye's been on the West Coast, spreading northeast here overnight tonight, really this evening and tonight. And there'll be more power outages spreading northeast. 1.3 million customers without power uh, in Florida. Wind gusts today over 100 miles per hour uh, down near Fort Myers and Cape Coral, 126 to be exact. Uh, there's the official 127 mile per hour wind gust. So some crazy wind. There's been some unconfirmed winds, 125, 135, 145 uh, down there. But it made landfall from the uh, air reconnaissance plane going in. Winds 155 miles per hour, strong category four, almost a five, and uh, gust 180 to 190. So uh, there'll be a lot more weather data coming out. There's been a ton of weather instruments put in place out ahead of this by uh, private individuals, by universities. And that data will come out as we get uh, into the next uh, several weeks and months ahead. But either way, pretty serious. Still a Category 4. It's going to really, it's going to weaken here quickly this evening. It'll go down to a Cat 1 here late this evening and tonight. It's going to head towards Orlando. There's what it looked like when it made landfall uh, just northwest of uh, Cape Coral. So uh, anywhere around that tight eye wall there, they had problems. So it moves northeast tonight. By tomorrow at 1 o'clock, it'll be moving offshore. It's going to curve back as a tropical storm might re-intensify back to hurricane. It'll come into the Georgia-South Carolina state line as we get into Friday afternoon, and there'll be more flooding in the southeast, and they're going to have flooding from winds and all that piling up all that water. For us, a couple sprinkles in the panhandle right now, and yeah, that's about it. So the burn bans, uh, again, we've got at, uh, did you say Grady or Caddo? You said Grady. I said Grady. Okay. Grady o'clock today. Okay, as of 3 o'clock. So Grady's been added now, and then Garvin County to the east, Dewey County, Cimarron County, but again, the new one here just in the last couple of hours, Grady County has been added uh, to the burn band. Here in Oklahoma City, we have sunshine, 88 degrees, a light northwest wind at 6, so that front came through, and uh, we were a little bit cooler today, as promised, compared to yesterday, but not much. We'll be cooler tomorrow, though. Mid to upper 80s out there, some 90s hanging on, especially as you get south and east. Lots of 90s down across southern Oklahoma. So tomorrow, cooler than today, right? There's that boundary I'm talking about. It'll just keep sliding down to the south. So it's not much of a cool down, but hey, at least it's something. Uh, there's a the big hurricane, right? Ian in the southeast, moving on through Florida here tonight and tomorrow morning. But the weather outside of that is pretty quiet. Pretty quiet weather showing up for the next nine days. Now, we talked about this last night at 10 o'clock. By the 9th or 10th or 11th of October, might get a storm system in here with maybe some rain, maybe some storms. Until then, more of the same. Lows in the 50s, southeast breeze coming back late tonight. Highs tomorrow in the low to mid 80s. A little cooler, we'll take that. And uh, tomorrow night, overnight, could see a few sprinkles in the west and the northwest. And that is it, nine day forecast. Lots of 80s. October arrived Saturday. By the way, last October, we had a record number of tornadoes. This year, we can't get any rain, right? So that's how it goes. You snap back the other way. There's your cool down. Still there. A little bit of a cool down by the end of next week with highs coming back down into the low 80s. Here we go.